That looks pretty good. Hello friends. Welcome back. Many of you made comments about my Valentine's Day tips and it seems like they really worked out for you. <laughs> that brings me great joy. Today I'm here to, as the kids say, drop some knowledges on you about what some call St. Patrick's Day, St. Paddy's Day, I, being the most romantic person in the world, refer to it as St. Lobert's Day. Why did you ask? Because really every day is a day for love. And I want to share this with the world. The tips, as you say, the tricks and the trades. You might be thinking to yourself tomorrow you're going to go to a pub or something and you're going to just enjoy a little bit of cerveza verde. Well, good for you. But if that is your only plan, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is really prepare. That is why you are here. So when you are in the pubs or in the restaurants, sitting across from your lovers, or maybe just friends, one way to show that you're really experiencing the love is to make sure that both of you have out your cell phones and be looking at them intensely. People are going to look over to you and they're going to say, man, Look at the illumination on their faces from the cell phone lights. Those people are really in love. Just sitting there trying to keep the tensions and the stresses at bay while they look into their phones on their Facebooks. Maybe another tip would be to whatever you are drinking or eating, make sure to take a picture and post it on the Facebooks or the Instagrams. Because heaven knows, nobody knows what a pint of beer looks like. And it will be good that you sent out that picture and posted it so everyone can remember. Nobody's going to remember what a salad looks like. Not on St. Lobert's Day. But you are going to get a picture of it. And you're going to post it. And then when people see this picture, they're going to say, Holy guacamole. That is one sweet looking salad. I bet that person is enjoying that salad with their lover. Or at least some very close friends. So, remember, Facebook, telephone, illumination on your face. Pictures of beer and glasses that no one has ever seen in the world. Pictures of salads and other appetizers that no one will ever remember until you post it again. And again. And probably once more. So, I wish you the best on this St. Lover's Day. And until next time,